Diversity in funding allocation. That's what the University of Wisconsin Green Bay Council of Trustees is asking the UW Board of Regents right now. A study recently revealed action needs to be taken to shift imbalances in funding. Our Emily Byer shares why the trustees are asking for this now. Every two years, the UW Board of Regents approves a budget and divvies the funds for the universities of Wisconsin. Universities then are funded through tuition, gifts and grants, and general purpose revenue, also known as GPR. GPR funds come from sales tax and income tax. They're pooled into a general fund as a source of revenue for the University of Wisconsin system. Recent study data shared at a committee meeting on the future of the universities of Wisconsin system shows inequities in fund allocation. I think right now the system is setting some campuses up for success and some for failure with the way that they're funded. A professor from UW-Whitewater, who has been working on a committee studying the GPR formula for 10 years, shared how GPR funds have impacted his university, while sharing data for other universities. La Crosse was actually the lowest, slightly below UW-Whitewater, and it's almost half the system average. So we receive substantially less per student in order to meet our mission, in order to be successful, in order to meet those goals that we supposedly have as a system. This graph also shows UW-Green Bay below that average red line, the university receiving the third lowest GPR per full-time student of all 13 schools. For a university that has had 19.8 percent increase in enrollment over the last five years, the growth doesn't seem to match funding for continued success. So if you're successful and you you're successful, recruit, your per FTE allocations drop go down. So now you have fewer resources so to educate those students. Dis, dis, disincentivizing success. Yes. Well, I, I'll, I, that's your interpretation of that. So um, that's the math. The UW Green Bay Council of Trustees sent a letter to the UW Board of Regents asking them to address these inequities. Meanwhile, UW Green Bay Chancellor Michael Alexander says they anticipate to see continued growth in enrollment. We are really proud of what we've been able to do with the resources that we have. And if you look at our enrollment growth and the other things that are happening at the university that are really serving the region, uh, I'm really proud of the fact that we're on the trajectory that we're on. In Green Bay, Emily Byer, Action 2 News.